Hello everybody. We were seeing our queries on MongoDB database. In this tutorial, we will be seeing how to update query. Uh, how to update MongoDB. That means updating queries in MongoDB database. So without talking so much, let's start. So as you can see, uh, I am in my Robo3T and I will choose to update query, mm, my customer query, okay, this is my customer query. So if I run a limiting query here, let me check out everything working or not. If I run this query, I'm getting only two value. Okay, so let me check out uh, one particular value only. Okay, if I run this query, it will return only one value here. Let me check this value. Okay, as you can see, this is my uh, single element here. Okay, so how to update this customer ID? Uh, uh, a L F K I to alf key to anything okay so let's try to update we have to use update okay if we use update it will update only one and if we use update one this will also update will one but if we use update many it will update many which uh, relates this which uh, satisfy this query okay so now if we want to update this customer id like this you have to just copy this and here in the second calibrations not in the first okay you just have to put this and give a limit okay don't need to give any, any limit here uh, if you if i run this query it's uh, telling me updated to one existing record and let me check okay i will not find this thing uh, uh, document exactly because I have a lot of document here and if I again write like this then okay as you can see my whole document has updated but uh, uh, remove all the fields okay so what happened here if I use this uh, like uh, like this in the second bracket it will update the whole document so how can we only update this customer id here okay uh, uh, except all the documents all the field to do so we just had to need to uh, write here set so let me check uh, let me have another document here too okay as you can see this is my another document okay and now let me select this to update any document first of all you have to select this in this first selector control v as this is our first selector and then use um set here calibrations as it is set and a colon and another angular bracket okay now if you remove this uh, if you replace this name another name lul and this should change okay and as you can see it is updated and now how to check this if we run this again as you can see my customer id uh, has been changed uh, only the customer id field has been changed not the entire um, document okay so this is how we can use our set operation in our any field uh, and we can update only our desired uh, column actually in document 
so thank you all uh, hope so we'll uh, meet again in the next tutorial